Welcome to part 4 of this video series, How to Use Evernote to Raise Your Grades. This video will discuss creating notebooks and stacks. Once you're in Evernote, you will find the notebooks area on the left side of your screen. Notebooks and stacks are something that don't get a lot of attention on Evernote's website, but they're very important for organizing your notes. You can have an unlimited number of notes, but if you have no way to organize and find them, it's really not of much help to you. It's just like sorting through a stack of papers. The great thing about Evernote is that it enables you to break your note organization down into notebooks and then to add those notebooks into stacks. You can see I've added a couple of notes since last video. All of them, or at least most of them, are about castles. I'll pretend that you are doing a study paper on castles and we're going to create a notebook for these new notes. So go over and go to the file menu. You'll go down to where it says new notebook. Again there's a key combination for this as well but it works fine to go to the file option and click new notebook. When it opens I'm going to call this notebook castles. Now does that make sense? I might have other notes about castles and I want to put them in a large file. So maybe castles isn't the best option. What if I named this origin of castles? Whenever you create a notebook, make it a synchronized notebook. This enables you to keep all of your notes stored in all of your Evernote equipped mobile devices so that you'll never lose your notes. I don't know why the local notebook is an option and I've never actually used it but it is there. If, if you find a use for the local notebook, please leave a comment on this video and tell me how you have done so. Unless you are going to be making a whole lot of notes, don't make this your default notebook. Now you'll need to add those other notes about castles into this notebook. How do you do it? Well, it's real simple. You drag and drop. I'm going to see the blue note here. I'm going to select it and drag it until origin of castles has a dotted line around it and then I'll let off the cursor, drop it in, and it changes. Now there are eight notes in the original notebook and one note in that new notebook. I'll repeat the process again for the next note, move it till the dotted line shows up, and again for this one, and finally for this fourth one here. Now we've got five notes in the original folder here, we've got four notes in our castles notebook. Now, that explains notebooks, but what about stacks? Well, stacks are a compilation of notebooks. Just like notebooks are a compilation of notes, if you have a whole lot of notes on one subject, you put them in a notebook. If you have a lot of notebooks about the same topic, you could put those in a stack. To demonstrate, I'll add origin of castles to a stack called castles. The process is to click on origin of castles so that this line here is blue right click with your cursor over add to stack it will say new stack that's the one you want now click on your notebook stack if you right click you'll have the option to rename your stack and we can call this castles this is a very general name but it gets the point across if you had a lot of different school papers you could organize a stack called school papers and under it in each notebook you could have the study materials you've used for each of those papers just a bunch of different ways to use notebooks and stacks after you've changed the name hit enter and it will save that name as the new stack the notebook will be subset under that stack as you can see here and you are all ready to continue making notes about castles or whatever other subject you'd like now that there is the option to add something to a stack, if I ever wanted to add this notebook to a stack, I would go to add stack and see castles is now an option. I don't actually want to add this to a stack yet, but if I did, you'd see all the stacks that I had made there. The only one for now is castles. That concludes this video on notebooks and stacks. In part five of this series, I will be discussing note editing and the note editor.